Hello guys, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. How are you doing? I hope you're ready to watch a really big building episode because that's what today's episode is going to be. Today is going to be intense, at least for me. <laughs> you will of course only see short uh, little snippets of what I'm doing because most of it is grinding um, and terraforming because um, yeah. I want to build the base today, completely. Well, as far as I can with the resources that we have and the place that I've picked out for it because it's going to be a somewhat um, wide building that has to reach inside of a mountain and it should be this mountain, I believe. So I will, first of all, um, even out this whole area. I will rise, raise the ground up to this level, cover up all the cave entrances that I should maybe light up. Oh, that ain't much here. Okay. Um, I've set up a tiny little chest monster over here where I will um, store all the resources that we need. We might need so much more. Oh boy. Num. Quick update, we have a visitor with whom I have no problem and then we have those guys. And they are stalking me. And um, by the way, I've <laughs> finished this part. I decided to cheat and just uh, do every second layer of dirt because then it is spawn proof. Like like this with, with one um, layer open that shouldn't be anything really able to spawn I hope so because of course I want to fill in my buildings but I honestly do not have the the necessary dirt for that the hill on which those guys are standing on um yeah I've been taking it apart <laughs> because I'm definitely out of dirt and you know what you are going down guys I'm getting my doggies yes ah, run 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 boys help Help, help! Go! Get him! Get him! Let me get the other doggies! That's why you are here! Help! Ha! Get him! Good boys! Such a good boy! Yeah. And you too, and you, and you, and you, and you, of course. Didn't mean to forget anyone. Um, there has to be someone left here, I think. Because normally, when you kill their leader, you get a debuff. That I didn't get. Um, maybe we scared him away? As possible. Hum. Or maybe one of the doggies got him and he... And I didn't get the debuff. Well. I don't see him anymore. So that is, that is, that is that. Okay, back to terraforming. Woo. Guys, this took about... Mm, two hours, I want to say. Finishing the... the um, dirt stuff and clearing out all the trees, which was a lot. And I hope we had have enough wood to complete the base in one go. I really hope that, because I'm, <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the grind. We have, oh, actually we have more spruce logs, I believe. Here, yeah. yes. And I'd like to leave one stack here. Put all the other stuff away. Look how much leather we have already now. This is this is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. What else can we get rid of? Oh, actually, we have 31 levels from punching cows in the face. And this may be a good opportunity to take another look at enchanting. This is promising only unbreaking okay never mind 
actually what we could use is an upgrade to our X. Let's see if we can get that. Um, the X and Lapis Lazuli. Hmm. Also unbreaking. Oh, Silk Touch is... <gasps> Ooh. We need... Oh, that is something we definitely need on a pickaxe. Is it still here? Yes! Silk Touch. Huh? That is an unbelievably um, important enchantment. Normally, if we with an with a pickaxe that doesn't have silk touch on it break a stone block, we get a cobblestone block because well, that's how that works. Silk touch, on the other hand, gives us the stone block directly, as you can see. Same goes for most of the other blocks. Instead of getting um, copper ore, for example, we get the whole block. And because I need a lot of stone for this building, I will dig out a lot of this, a lot of this stone, this pickaxe, and get around all these melting, <laughs> these melting of cobblestone, which is great. Regarding the building palette, it will be a relatively simple one. We will have a simple transition of gray. Cobblestone, stone bricks, clean stone, normal stone, and andesite. And as soon as we can get our, get our hands on mossy cobblestone and stuff like that, we can implement it later. For the wooden parts, we will use spruce logs, dark wood planks, who those are relatively similar in color, which is perfect. We'll also use these stripped spruce logs and normal spruce planks, also complementary. And Last but not least, we will use a few of the new deep slate block variants. We will use the chiseled and the brick variant and the raw one. And finally, moss. Because the build that I have in mind has a moss slash grass roof. I want to go for a sort of... Um, dwarven kind of medieval look and I want to integrate this base into the mountainside. So we have the option of connecting it to the interior of the mountain should we do something with that. Now thankfully I have planned this whole thing out on paper and in creative because a, I have a creative test world where I plan out buildings and, and sort of sketch my ideas down. Ooh, I may... Maybe I shouldn't be doing this in... Uh, on hardcore without any sort of... Safety... Precaution. <laughs> I do not have feather falling on my boots if I... Mm, this might actually not really be a good idea. Let me... Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I should put... Um, build the bottom part first. And then slowly build my way up. <laughs>
You know what we should do? We have bamboo and we have a little bit of string. We should actually try to make a little bit of scaffolding. That could help us get up and down there easily. Just hope I have enough string. Because that... Uh, seven string, that is not a lot. Um, How much scaffolding can we craft with this? Well, 30. That is... Okay-ish. Oh, maybe we can do a little bit more with more bamboo. Maybe. Yay! 42. Oh, that is wonderful. That will be really, really helpful. Because scaffolding, you can just stack by clicking at the bottom. And then it automatically stacks upon each other and you can climb all the way up here you can for example say okay i want to go over there scaffolding is just one of the best additions to the game <laughs> now the roof i will actually make completely out of logs and i will put some variations in the length of those logs and the um yeah well the is it the incline of the roof? <laughs> oh, words are hard. Well, I hope you know what I mean. Hey, yo, editing me here from the future. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm a little bit tired in this recording session. <laughs> and looking back on the audio, I've noticed I'm really a little bit quiet and tired and slow and mixing up words and everything. Well, I just wanted to tell you it's going to get worse. Um, <laughs> I decided to leave it in, uh, because that's part of this uh, gigantic project. It's kind of 1 a.m. at this point in the recording session that, that you are watching right now. It's going to get worse. It's going to get much later. I'm going to get much quieter. I'm going to poke my nose into the microphone, make stupid sounds, and, um, yeah. Just, just so you're prepared. Okay. Now you might get a better idea of what is going on. Um, this will be the roof. It will lead all the way into the mountain and be covered in, in moss and grass in big chunks the closer, in bigger chunks the closer it gets to, to the mountain and to the grass surrounding it. Now, I would like to complete the framework. You see how this wall, the end wall at the entrance is relatively thick. I will actually use this complete, it's one, two, three, four, five blocks that I can work with depth wise. Um, now, what was the plan? The plan, first of all, was to create a dark wood barrier. We need one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now we have sort of a frame for the entrance. And because this part here doesn't really doesn't really look that great because the contrast of the two um, wood colors is, is a little bit annoying in places, we can, uh, well, cheat a little bit. First of all, we have to get those guys to the correct length. That is not the correct length. Maybe we should use the scaffolding again. We can totally cover this ugly spot there up by doing this, which is actually not correct. <laughs> oh, I checked my dummy. This has to go deeper, but we will still cover this spot up with something that comes later on. Back to the frame around the entrance door. I had an idea. First of all, we connect the lighter wooden parts with this. We can later on install some lanterns hanging down from here. And now for the door itself, and actually also every, every bit of window surrounding the door, we will not use fences like, like we... <laughs> have not yet done over here. <clears throat> we will not use fences like we did over here. But instead, we will use trapdoors.
and create the illusion of a really big entrance door. And we will cover up the top part of that with dark wood stairs. And for the inside, now it's getting interesting. Oak trapdoors, because they let light through and have more of a window-like feeling to them. And fitting in nicely with that oak doors, but I actually want to place them on something, in this case, logs turned upside down. See what I mean with the roof? Looks way more dynamic when it's um, when not all the locks are the same length. Quite like that. Now let's install a little bit of lighting already, so we don't have to worry about as many spawns as we currently. I think this is looking really good so far. Next step will be the spruce wood logs that are enclosed from all sides not this but this instead there is bark from every side of the log now this again is about contouring and ah, the part that looked so weird from the inside now looks weird from the outside but we can cover that up with what we are doing here with this spruce wood we will create the outline for the roof. And back to the, the thing with the framing, because the underside here of this overhang now really looks, mm, well, not that well. <laughs> we will place down this. This is spruce, spruce planks. And... We will create a nice little contrast between um, the dark wood and the stone. I believe these spruce planks fit perfectly in the middle. Finally, we have a stairway up to the first floor. This is the perfect time to to sleep first and foremost, and then take care of this window situation. Um, yeah, and on the side, I'm always trying to uh, dig out more of the mountain because we have to go this direction for, well, for a bit, for a good bit. Now for the interior part, we are going to connect the window to the ceiling like this. Going to be a little bit darker than the flooring here. And I just noticed I made a mistake. Oh, dang it. I have to raise the border of the window one block up. Shouldn't be a big problem. Now I know how this happens. How the cows keep escaping. They grow up. And if they are close to the fence, I believe, they pop bigger. They just pop outside of the pen. I think that is it. Now, I was about to take a safety cat with me and a safety doggy because I'm, I'm just getting so paranoid there could be I'm seeing creepers everywhere <laughs> that might just be me being very very tired right now <laughs> because it's actually mm, 3 a.m. I believe I'm going to pull an all-nighter on this one you guys come in here now because I Hint to fall down here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, you will install a 
safety railing and in the same moment frame the stair. We are getting a tiny bit overrun. We have raids on two sides right now. I'm glad I have the doggies. Come on. Ah, now the debuff popped up. Okay. Get him! <laughs> nice. And the sec oh look dropped a banner. And we have the second ray over in the riverbed where they tend to get stuck. Down there. I'm not saying no to XP. <laughs> and a crossbow. Ooh. Now, this debuff that you see in... Wait, let me show you. How can I... Here. Bad omen. Should you enter a village with this debuff, you will trigger a raid, which is relatively difficult to handle, especially on hardcore. Now, we don't have a village around, so this won't happen, but I don't want to accidentally... Somehow... Ah... Uh, yeah forget about it and then run run into it so we can as with all debuffs get rid of it by drinking milk mm, yeah it's getting there did the second side the right side Now we are basically doing what we did on the outside in here. Cover the dirt basically. Now the ceiling is looking good. Um, I have to clear out all of this and drag this whole complex further down the mountain and then i have to do it on the other side and that is where we will end the episode for today because shortly after this i did go to bed thank god <laughs> and the next recording session with the second part of the build is much more awake and lively yeah lesson learned i guess <laughs> so any little guys i hope you still enjoyed the episode somewhat <laughs> leave me a like if you did see you in the next one